come to borrow money from them. Why? Because it's a testimony of the very power of God. Someone said, I thought that was only for the elite, for the fabulously wealthy. <laughs> and the Lord says, no, it's for my people. So that I can show my power and my glory in their life. See, God wants everybody around you to be freaked out at how blessed you are. We're not talking about everybody being greedy, no. We're not talking about everybody being materialistic, no. It's not about you having materialism in your heart or being greedy. It's about the power of God on your life because you're abiding in the body and doing what God's asking you to do, that the power of God is causing you to be blessed and to flourish. And other people will notice it. Your own family will freak out. And they'll say, ooh, like, how does that happen? And they think like you stole something. <laughs> you know, like, what's going on? Well, that's only a financial thing, but what about when you get healed? Did you feel a healing? <laughs> what about when you have supernatural favor on your job? What about when a relationship has gone awry all of a sudden? God brings it back together. See, eventually, they're going to say, all right, now tell me what's up here. Because something's going on. You're like the luckiest person I've ever seen in my life. See, they don't know how to decide it. They don't know how to describe it. They just use the word that they know. You're lucky, man. Like all these coincidences are happening. How do all these things happen? They, no matter what problem you face, they see that there's something working with you. It's the power of God. It's the fruitfulness of God. God wants you to be fruitful in every area. In every area. He goes on to say here, in verse 13, And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above holy, 